If you've recently purchased one of the new WinBook tablets, the uh, TW800-801 8-inch tablet, and you're having problems with your Bluetooth keyboard staying attached, we've got a solution for you. We've got a file where you can update the BIOS on the computer and make that problem go away. This is Paul, one of the techs from Micro Center. Let's go ahead and take a look at this video. Okay, so first you want to go ahead and get that file. And the easiest way to get it is to go to email.microcentertech.com. Just email us, you know, fill out your customer information, your reference number, and down in the description of issue, just say that you're looking for the, uh, the updated BIOS for the TW800 or 801. You want to specify the model because there's also an updated BIOS for the 10-inch tablet as opposed to this, which is the 8-inch tablet. So you want to make sure you get the right one. Just fill that out and submit it. We will get the request and send that to you. As you can see, I've already downloaded the file on my desktop. So this is actually a compressed file. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and extract it. So I, as you can see, I just opened it. I'm going to click on Extract, Extract All. I'm going to take the default, which means it's going to create a folder on the desktop like it just did. All right, so now just double click on the new folder. Once again, verify it's the right model, 800 or 801, depending on which 8 inch tablet you have. Double click on that, double click on WinFlash, and then you'll see the executable, which is application. Double click on that. You want to make sure that your tablet is plugged in. You don't want to lose power in the middle of this process, or you will damage your system and make it unbootable. So go ahead and let this do its thing. It will then shut down the computer, restart it, and then when you come back up, you're going to have the, the new updated BIOS, and which will eliminate the problem with the Bluetooth keyboard. Okay, so here we are after the reboot. The BIOS has been updated to the newest version. If you have any other questions, come visit us at www.microcentertech.com or visit our no-wait chat service at chat.microcentertech.com.